Hello everyone, so today we are back again with another video and in this we are going to be reviewing uh, polynomials. So I have a really nice problem for you from the IOQM and we are going to look at one of the common types of polynomial problems that you will see uh, in competitive Olympiads in mathematics. So let's get started. This is the problem number 10 from the recently concluded IOQM. It was held on 6 March, part A. Uh, and we are going to be learning a little bit of polynomials. We are going to be solving a polynomial equation. Uh, rather one of the more common types of polynomial equation, like you'll see such kind of questions quite a bit. And I'm going to tell you a method or an approach that works for pretty much all of them. Right. And after that, we're going to see some certain book suggestions for the IQM. And at the very end, we have a similar but challenging problem. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. So let's get started. And uh, they're asking us to uh, find a polynomial P of least degree that satisfies the given equation and then find the value of P of 2. So basically we need to find out the equation and just plug in x equals 2 to win it. Now well, what is a polynomial? So polynomial is uh, basically any algebraic expression we represent as P of x. It's any algebraic expression that can be uh, written as a0 plus a1x plus a2x square dot 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 dot, dot up till we have a n x is for n. Right? Uh, this is a general polynomial of the nth degree and a0, a1, a2, an till an are nothing but the coefficients, right? So for example, a1 is the coefficient of x is per 1, a2 will be the coefficient of x square, a10 will be the coefficient of x is per 10, and an will be the coefficient of x is per n. And these coefficients need to be integers, right? So a0, a1, right up to an needs to be integer. They need to be integral, right? So this is basically what a polynomial is. And here we have we have a polynomial equation. Now this is pretty common. Such type of questions are pretty common that you might you may have seen them a lot. And uh, fortunately, this came on the exam as well. So I'm going to tell you like a standard method that we can employ to solve these kinds of problems, right? So this is the question that is given to us. Now the first thing that comes to mind is root seven plus root five. But just multiply this by the root seven minus root five, which is given on the other side. I get two. And two is given to us in the problem as well. So we have quite a quite a decent observation over here. This also really stems from the fact that the rationalization of one by root seven minus root five is um, nothing but I believe root seven plus root five by two. Right. So you might have seen rationalization of this expression in uh, earlier class in algebra as well. So this is the first uh, expression, the first observation that we can concur. Right. So I can uh, write p of root seven plus root five is equal to now. We just substitute this t. Uh, this 2 as this given equation then I will get root 7 plus root 5 times root 7 minus root 5 multiplied by root 7 minus root 5 so we get this whole square term over here okay now well um, what, what, what do we do from here well we have this root 7 minus root 5 expression over here and that is squared right so if we can somehow eliminate that now how are we supposed to eliminate that well it's just, it's, it's just a simple observation if you just square both of these quantities, we'll actually get 24 and you can actually check this. And what is the motivation that uh, that is behind doing this? Well, we have root 7 plus root 5 P of some certain quantity on the left hand side. So if we have that same quantity, well, terms of the same quantity on the right hand side, then we can easily form an equation for P of X by letting root 7 plus root 5 is equal to X. So the objective is to kind of eliminate this root 7 minus root 5 to the best of our abilities. Right. And over here, we can just uh, simply see that root 7 minus root 5 whole square is nothing but 24 minus root 7 plus root 5 whole square. And if I substitute this back into our above equation, I'll get this. So we have root 7 plus root 5 times 24 minus root 7 plus root 5 whole square. And after this, well, uh, you can really see that we can form a polynomial in P by just uh, polynomial in X by just assuming X to be root 7 plus root 5. And once we do that, we get P of X equal to X times 24 minus X squared. So we can easily form the polynomial P of X equal to 24 X minus X cube. This is obviously a cubic polynomial. It is of the least degree and um, all its coefficients are integers. There's minus 1 and 24. Both are integers. 
and they wanted us to find p of 2 which is 24 times 2 minus 2 cube is 8 which is 40 so p of 2 is 40 which is the correct answer so as you've seen this is th these are other one of the common types of polynomial equations that you will see uh, very common and i believe this has come many times in pre rmo in amc and it, it came in the ifm th uh, this year as well so i hope you learned a lot from it. it's an important problem solving technique and and let's see the 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 challenge problem is kind of similar to this. Let's see if we're able to solve that. Right, so now we have certain book suggestions for the IAQM. We have Mathematics Can Be Fun by Yakov Perelman. We have Mathematical Circles, the Russian Experiment. We have Algebra Can Be Fun. We have An Excursion Mathematics. And we have The Challenges and Theory of Pre-College Mathematics. And of course, at the very end, uh, we have a similar but challenging problem. And we need to find a polynomial P of X of the least degree with integer coefficients such that 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2 is a root of p of x right so we again need to find a polynomial uh, a polynomial p of x for this and um, yeah uh, if you make any progress on it or if you're able to solve it please let me know in the comment section below and i'll be sure to check it out until then that's it from me thank you very much bye bye the programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States, and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.